Hello friends, in this, ex in this video I am going to do one example of application of quadratic equation. Okay, now the question is, now this question was sent to me by one of my uh, friends who lives in Australia. Okay, the, st uh, the question is like this, the volume of a larger box is twice the volume of the smaller box. So this is your smaller box and this is your, so this is your smaller box. This is not drawn to scale, and this is your larger box. They have given you the dimension, so this is your larger box, and this is your smaller box. So I googled this, and I got it from Google. So I have copied and pasted. So what they are saying is, the length, width, and height of this box are the same. Doesn't look to be equal, but believe me, they are equal. Okay, or imagine they are equal. And what they're saying is the height is W, the width is W plus 1, and the height is, and the length is W plus 2. And the, this is a crucial word here, that the volume of the larger box. So let me write V1 is volume of smaller box. Of smaller box. Now you know the volume of a box, cube or a cuboid is, length times width times height. So W times W times W is W cube. So V2 is volume of the larger box. Would be W times W plus 1 times W plus 2. Just like that. Okay, now what's the relation between W2 and W1? <coughs> W2 is the volume of, <coughs> excuse me, the volume of the larger box, which is W2, is two times the volume of the smaller box. So I can say W2 is two times V1. Okay. So V2 is W times W plus 1 times W plus 2 is equal to two times X, X sorry, W cubed. 2 times 2w cube. So now I have to expand this. So let me expand this first. So this is w times w squared plus, this is 1w plus 2w, which is 3w, plus 1 times 2 is 2, is equal to 2w cube. Okay, again, now expanding with w, this is w cube plus 3w squared plus 2w. So what I've done is, w times w squared is w cubed, w times 3w is 3w squared, and w times 2 is 2w. It's 2w cubed. Now, taking away w cubed from both sides, you can get, let me write that, so w cubed plus 3w squared plus 2w minus 2w cubed is equal to 0. So this and this can be simplified. So this is minus W cube plus 3W squared plus 2W is equal to 0. Okay. So now what can we factor out? Okay. Now let me change color. So you can factor out a minus W. So if you factor out a minus W, minus W times W squared will give you minus W cube minus 3w minus 2 is equal to 0. So now you can say minus w is equal to 0. This has become a quadratic equation. Uh, this times this is 0, so this is 0. Or w squared minus 3w minus 2 is equal to 0. So if minus <coughs> w is equal to 0, w has to be 0. So this answer is mathematically right, but if you look at the question, we are saying that the width is becoming zero, and that's not possible because the width has to be, the dimension has to be positive. So here you can say, but width or W has to be greater than zero. Therefore, we can say W cannot be equal to zero. So we are rejecting this option. This is not equal to, uh, my eraser is too big, so but 
w is should be greater than 0 therefore w is not equal to 0 so you will get the real w from here now you can use your quadratic formula or you can also use your calculator I'll do this by without using a calculator uh, by a method called completing the square so I'm going to write this like this w squared minus 3w is equal to 2 okay now uh, now to make this a perfect square you have to do half of 3 half of negative 3 is negative 1.5 and then square it. So I'm going to write here 1.5 squared. Now this will become a perfect square. So if you write 1.5 squared here, you have to write 1.5 squared here too. So this will become w minus 1.5 squared is equal to 2 plus uh, 2.25. I'm, I'm not using a calculator. So this is w minus 1.5 squared is equal to uh, this is 4.25 so this is w minus 1.5 is equal to plus or minus square root of this is nothing but the uh, this the method that I'm showing you is nothing but the quadratic formula if you use the quadratic formula you know the quadratic formula is x is minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That same thing, you don't even need to remember the formula, this formula, if you know how to do by completing the square. The method is very simple. You do the half of this number and then square it. So half of 3 is, don't look at the sign because when you're squaring it, it's always going to be positive. So half of 3 is 1.5 and square it. So if you write 1.5 squared here, you have to write 1.5 squared here. And, we have, and when you're finding square root, you have to find square root positive and negative square root of 4.25. Okay, so W, so your W would be 1.5 plus or minus square root of 4.25. Now I'm, I'll, so W is 1.5 plus square root of 4.25 okay or w is equal to 1.5 minus square root of 4.25 so let me get the calculator out so this is my calculator menu run so 1.5 plus square root of 4.25 will give me 3.56 so one answer is this is 3.56 in 2 dp this is in 2 dp and this will be uh, uh, let me do the minus there so if I put a minus there that is z minus 0 0.56 so we can write uh, minus 0 0.56 this is in again 2 dp now you can't have a negative w so your width is the w is 3.56 so uh, 3.56 units whatever that unit is so your w plus 1 would be 4.56 and your w plus 2 would be 5.56 now you can put the answer back into the question find the volume of this box and find the volume of the smaller box and you will find the volume of this box is about two times because this is a we have rounded it so it will not be exact but it will be very close to the volume of this box would be double the volume of the smaller box hopefully this video has been helpful see you in the next video